Hey there, this is Sean from Bear Flag Mercantile, and uh, just wanting to get a quick video out there of some of my apothecary bottles. Uh, they're a little dusty, I haven't. <laughs> Again, we're doing some spring cleaning, and we're actually still getting uh, quite a bit of ash out of our house from the creek fires that were up here that we got evacuated over that burnt up uh, half the state of California. But um, just wanted to run across these. Uh, you know, if I purchase things from you on an online auction like Mike and John and Global Voodoo uh, in the past, uh, some apothecary items or medical items, um, here they are. Uh, this is just a short bit of them. I can't possibly get all of them in a short video, but um, these I got uh, from Global Voodoo, the Black Draught, and the Hamlin's Wizard Oil Liniment. Still have some of the original product in there. And some others. I can't pronounce that, but uh, that is for dental use. Um, and then I got some old 1800s uh, bottles there in the back with the stoppers. Those are what I love. I'd love to find those every single day. I got those uh, when we first moved up here four years ago. Uh, all of them for $10 with uh, that little sign back there. And like a doctor's prayer, morning prayer. Um, that little clear bottle right back there is very early from Virginia City, Nevada. That's one of the cities that I love. I'm not going to reach in there and pick it up because... I want to be very careful with it. That's one of my prized possessions right there. Um, it is from Virginia, Nevada. And that's before they called it Virginia City. That's when it was still a mining camp. And it was old Virginia town. Um, this other one right here is from the gold rush period. And it is from San Francisco. So that's great local history. Um, down here I have one from my old hometown. Um, Wentz's Pharmacy in Gilroy, California. And uh, there's an unknown substance in this one right here that I am not going to be opening to find out. But uh, I've got quite a bit. And this isn't even the uh, half of it or a third of it. Uh, I also collect uh, mortar and pestles. Uh, there's one right there for herbal. That's kind of a newer one. I use that for crushing pills and, and doing... Uh, things still I, I use that quite a bit um, these right here and it's very funny um, I watched a couple videos and I actually went to buy some things from a guy who was an old uh, uh, privy digger and he has dug this entire region of Fresno County ever since he was a young man and now he's up in his 70s and he had some of these small bottles and these are opium bottles and uh they would just carry a little bit of opium in them back when it was legal to have. And, um, yeah, it, uh, I went to the flea market the next day cause he wanted 30, 40 bucks a piece for those. And I went to the flea market the next day and by coincidence found two for $2 a piece, which I loved it. So <laughs> that's what I look for. Little things like this too. Uh, also I'll show you up here. Um, this mortar and pestle is made of cork. And I'm not sure, man, that's really dusty. So I'll get you from this angle. I'm not really sure what that was used for. I believe it was some type of herbal grinder. Um, you know, homeopathic medicine was around for a long time. I got some old bottles up here also. Uh, that's an advertisement. That's like something you would put in your pharmacy window to show people the, maybe some brands that you would use of, uh, pharmaceuticals and here's some pepsi bottles those are a mixture between mine and my son justin's there's an old uh mortar and pestle right here for uh making powder mixing your capsules or caplets whatever you want to call them that's from the 1800s and i know that for a fact because that was local um i'm gonna switch over here across this is keep these things in my bathroom and uh my wife and i's bathroom but uh then I got the uh, you know, Clorox bottle, and I uh, uh, can't remember who I bought those from, Mike or John, but uh, the Chichesters are there, as are the April showers. These are some things I got from a friend in town. Got another, there, some mineral oils, some Shinola, 
and some rubbing alcohol with rubbing alcohol still in it from the 40s or uh, I believe maybe 30s, 40s. But uh, there's some secrets back in there. And I'm going to go shoot across this blank wall here. And I also have other items up here. There's those rectal ones. i still waiting for those to work. You know, I keep trying them out, but they don't work. So <laughs> well, then we got these and some Jarrus. I got those from a man in town. See, there's another one. Uh, I also collect shaving mugs, which I don't have a very large collection. Actually, my mom uh, gave me all of these. Uh, there's some old razors. Uh, these back here. Uh, Davy Crockett, that's a mug, but it's really expensive, so I keep it right there. Now, that isn't anything to do with pharmaceutical or anything else. I used to shoot black powder rifles. Well, I still do. But this bear grease was something that we lubricated our patches with before you put the lead ball in the muzzle. You would uh, put a lubricated patch, so it just kind of get the ball out faster. And uh, that is 100% bear grease, and right now it is rancid, so I will never take that lid off. <laughs> um, that I got from Mike and John's auction on the January house auctions and that's French and I don't know what that is yet I still gotta look it up but I don't care it's sitting there um, this is a razor saver uh, it takes those old 20s and 30s uh, up to 40s with this one uh, disposable razors like you would use in this I don't have any of my other razors uh, in the house yet just one straight razor. I got all three or four of those, but I'm starting to try to grow those. And uh, this one I got at an estate sale. Got a little chip in it. It's undergoing a restoration on the on the lid. I just haven't gotten around to it. But those were, uh, I'll show it later on. But uh, I have some fillers and things that I put in there. And I'll redo it with some um, gold, gold leaf. I'll redo it. But that's about it. I wanted to keep it real, real short today. And that's pretty short, seven, eight minutes for a video from me. But, uh, hey, thanks for watching. And I really thank you all for subscribing, for those you did. Um, I really like to read my, uh, comments. So please leave a nice comment, and I'll comment back and go back and forth. If you have any questions about anything on here, these are private collection items. And uh got my razor strop on the wall there. But that's what it is. And, well, this is a big bathroom, so it's got a lot of Neat stuff in it, not too crowded. We're keeping this less crowded because we're still in the process of uh, remodeling the house to get it back into the 1920s state. Uh, with the exception of maybe this this restroom, uh, bathroom area, because it's so large and spacious, uh, we're going to do something else with it, maybe a little bit more modern. But for the most part, old, old and modern looking. But uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. And if you can like and subscribe, that would be great. And uh, again, leave me a message. Uh, really, like I said, I enjoy talking to people and learning new things. So uh, the more you comment, the more you like and share, the more people we can get some good information from. If anybody has ideas or comments about what something could be, then, you know, good conversations. Uh, yeah, and there's my salty sea crab shack. No crabs here. <laughs> Nice little photo I picked up in Monterey last time I was there. Uh, or actually an oil painting. And uh, palmistry, fortune telling. But I don't have that. I just have it because of like pressure points and things. Plus it came with the old stuff. Maybe next time I'll show you some more bottles. But uh, again, thanks for joining. Hit that like button. Hit the uh, notifications button so you'll get notifications when... I uh, post again. So we'll see you on down the road. Stay safe.